Assembly AI is very easy and quick to integrate into your existing apps. So today I'm going to show you how to integrate Assembly AI to an existing Streamlit app in under 10 minutes. Here is what the app looks like right now. And here's what it will look like once we're done with it. We are going to use Assembly AI's API to transcribe YouTube videos and show them in the Streamlit application. Assembly AI is a company that is developing a state-of-the-art speech-to-text API. If you also want to use this API and for free, go and grab your free API token using the link in the description. All right, so let's get started. What I have so far is a very simple application. Just one text input uh, gives me, the user can give me the YouTube link and I display the YouTube video here. But what I also do is download the audio and save it somewhere on my local file system. What I want to do from now on is to include assembly AI. So the first thing that I want to do is to specify the endpoints that I'm going to use. There are two endpoints that I'm going to use in this project, the upload endpoint and the transcript endpoint. This is the upload endpoint, and this is the transcript endpoint. After I've done this, the next thing I want to do is to create a header, and this header will be used for authentication. So I will create the header. Of course, I do not have my authentication key yet, so I need to go get it from Assembly AI. So let's do that. It's very easy. You just need to create an Assembly AI account. And once you sign in, you will be welcomed with your API key. I can just click to copy this one and I create a new file. And that's it. Of course, I also need to import it here. All right, so now my authentication is done. The next thing that I want to do is to create a function that will upload the audio file that I have locally to Assembly AI, and then well, that will also start a transcription job. And I will call this one um, start transcription. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is to upload the audio file to Assembly AI. For that, I'm going to send a post request uh, to the upload endpoint that we specified earlier using the headers for authentication and also using the save location that I saved in the session state of Streamlit uh, to access the file and upload it there. And as a result of this upload request, I'm going to get a response. In this response, I will be able to see the URL where this uh, audio file has been uploaded to. And using this URL, I will be able to start a transcription job. To start a transcription job, first step is to create a dictionary specifying where assembly AI can find this audio file and whether I want this audio file to be categorized or not. But for now, I don't want that. And later to create the transcription job or to start the transcription job, very simply, very similar to the upload uh, request that we sent, we're going to uh, send another request, passing it the dictionary variable that we just created and the endpoint and the headers for authentication. As a response to this uh, request, what we get in return is a response. In this response, we have an ID. And this ID is basically the ID of the transcription job. And using the endpoint that we have and this ID, we can create a polling endpoint. This polling endpoint is something we're going to use to ask Assembly AI how the progress on the transcription is going. So for that, I'm just going to return the polling endpoint from this function so that I can check on it later. All right, now that the function is ready, it is time to actually use this function. So for that, I'm going to call this function, start transcription. And as we know, we are getting a polling endpoint from it. What I want to do now is to use this polling endpoint to check if how, how the transcription is going. So how you do that is by sending a GET request. In this GET request, I only need to specify the polling endpoint and the headers for authentication. In the polling response, I have something called the status. The status tells me if it has only been queued, it's, if it's processing, or if it's been completed already. So that's what I want to know from this response. Uh, I can print this one, for example, to know how it's going. And once it's done, we can get the text that is the final text. So once it's completed, once the status is completed, it also gives us a text. So that's the complete transcription for this audio file. I'm going to call this the transcription. 
and I also want to display it once it's done. But actually, just by running it once, we, are, we will not be able to get the text because it needs to process for a little bit. So we might need to ask Assembly AI how the progress is going a couple of times. So for that one, I will very simply use a while loop. Uh, if you remember, we created a session state. Well, I created it before. <laughs> so at first it is submitted. So I'm going to update the session state using the state information that we get from the polling response. And I will also use this in the while loop. And I will say, as long as the status is not completed, keep asking Assembly AI how it's going. And that's it. Now we have integrated Assembly AI into our app. So let's go and see how it actually looks. Yeah, and here it is. Now it worked. And this is one of my favorite clips from the series called The Office. Uh, it's just Michael doing improvisation. Uh, but either way, it looks like our application is working. And that's it. In less than 10 minutes, we are done with integrating Assembly AI into our application. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe so that you will be one of the first people to know when we publish a new video. If you have any questions or comments about this video, definitely leave a comment. I would love to see those. To try this out yourself, go and grab your free API token from Assembly AI using the link in the description. But for now, have a nice day and I'll see you around.